and I and we're here at DMU's Queen Building for the third Greenlight Festival. Really good turnout today and we're really pleased to be running the uh, Greenlight Capture section. We've got some young reporters here as well, lots of our volunteers been down giving out cameras for people to do stuff. And we caught up with a citizen's eye friend, uh, Councillor Magani. How are you? I'm very good, how are you? You're not too bad. Now you've explained you've had quite a busy day today, you've been yeah. here, there and everywhere. So tell us a little bit about what a Saturday would involve for you. Right, well today, as I was just saying, I went over to uh, St Patrick's Day Mass at a church near my ward. And I was at a lunch organised by the Irish community. Then I've been over to the clock tower for another really important thing that's going on today, which is the bedroom tax protest. So a lot of Labour councillors and just a huge turnout for members of the public, which was really good. And then I've come over here, so there's loads of really exciting, important things going on today. And I think I've kind of I've come for a bit of a a bit of a quieter kind of rest, as it were. Uh, although there's such a thriving atmosphere, I don't think I'm going to get much of a rest because I've got to go and see everything and experience everything as quickly as I can, you know, to try and uh, really get the feel for what's going on. It's all very exciting. Now, we were talking about, uh, just before we started doing this interview, about this is the third uh, green light. Yeah. And uh, it's expanded every year. And this year, um, Chris Shaw, one of the organisers, was, was telling me yesterday that they've really struggled with, you know, to find someone to sponsor the event you know, yeah. who's ethical and uh, having debates around sort of, you know, sustainable meat production or should yeah. it stay vegetarian? vegetarian and vegan. Yeah. I mean, do you think these kind of festivals are obviously very different from some of the religious-based festivals we have or mass participation events, kind of give other members of the community an opportunity to come together? Because, I mean, there's a real kind of mixed sort of bag of people Absolute, here, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I think one of the things I was saying a moment ago when we were, when we were having a chat was that it's great to see people of all backgrounds and of all ages um, and there's all s sorts of activities going on as well. So it's really a, a nice surprise for me because it's the first one I've been to. First of many, I hope. Um, but you're right, there are challenges as well, particularly with the, the economy the way it is, in terms of trying to get uh, good sponsorship and to get the funding right for something like this. Because if anything, all of us would want to see it get bigger and better as time goes on. And I know that you guys and Chris and all the organisers have done so much hard work in advance of this. So, you know, for us guys that come along, it all looks like it's running smoothly and there's loads of uh, good sessions going on. but. We also have to kind of remember the amount of work and the effort that goes in. And obviously all these things cost money. So I hope the council, and certainly I and my colleagues and, and others as well, will do what we can to try and support yeah. it as best we can. But finding a good ethical sponsor is a good, is a good strategy as well, yeah. I think. Um, I think what you find with events like this, and certainly running the Community Media Week and the Doc mm. Film Festival and helping to do things like Skyride and stuff, and it's not until you come here that you see the amount of volunteers yeah. uh, that get involved in these things. I mean, this, I mean, do you have any personal experience of volunteering yourself or how volunteering has, has, has helped someone in your constituency to kind of engage more? Because surely all these things lead to employability skills and stuff, don't they? Yeah. Which is you know, more that, confidence, self-esteem. Absolutely. I mean, what, the, the first thing to say is that I mean, thank God that we are lucky to have as many volunteers, not only today at the festival, but generally in the city. I think we're a, quite a, a compassionate city, and I think we've got a really conscientious people here in Leicester. And one of the things I'm really proud about. Um, but I, I think also we have to work harder to instill in younger people that volunteering is a great way to not only make a difference, not only put their natural kind of human compassion to good use, they to spread love as it were uh, in what, the, what they do, but also it really helps to boost um, their own CVs as well and to give them real life tangible work experience. So person, my personal background is I'm a, a lawyer, so to get into the legal profession for example now, sadly the way it is, young people have to have a lot of uh, volunteering and work experience where they've actually worked for nothing to get those skills set. Um, so that's kind of what we ought to be encouraging more. Uh, hopefully we'll do that more going forward and it's certainly happening today. The number of volunteers is extraordinary, so it's, like, it's, it's really impressive. And I just wish more people would get, would get active and we'd get as many volunteers to so many other great causes in the city as well. But it's a work in progress. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thanks very much.